Yes, boss. Back in the building, 444 The World, back in here again, once again. Happy to see you guys. Happy to be in front of this camera, dog. I don't know, it's because, the reason why I don't really upload off of this is because it's like, it takes like four or five hours for YouTube to even catch it. It's like a long process, all of that, you know? But I'm gonna get back into it because I love doing it, you know what I'm saying? In today's topic, I'm gonna be talking about why time is so precious, you get what I'm saying? Now, reason being why I'm even talking about this is because like, I feel like somebody needs to hear this, you know what I'm saying? If it's not somebody that's a viewer of mine, you can share this to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Time waits for no one, you get what I'm saying? I think everybody's probably heard that before. Time waits for no man, and not only that, time it can fly by you. If you don't pay attention to the clock, it's gonna run out. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people who've missed their opportunities in life or feel like there's no way out and like they've squandered their time doing a lot of BS. And truthfully, sometimes we have to take a step back and realize what it is that we're doing catch ourselves in the moment and realize what's in front of us you're not gonna always be young forever you get what i'm saying you're not gonna always move like how you used to so while you have your youth you have to use it the right way there's a lot of people i see that have burnt out all of their time doing nothing partying living fast and it's like they have nothing to show for it right and they let time get away from them. And the part about this that's like, it's so crazy for me is a lot of people got their life and they just squandered it away. Not saying you can't make up for time, but it's like the minute you say, yo, let me go ahead and do it now, it's gonna be one of those things where it's not really too little too late, but you're not moving the way how you used to. So when you probably catch a rhythm like, yo, I finally got certain things going, You'll probably be like, damn, I should have listened to certain people when I was younger. That's how the cycle get repeated. So when you hear certain people tell you, yo, don't do that at this age or slow it down or yo, you shouldn't be doing that. You get what I'm saying? Pay attention to that. Reason being is because life is very serious. It's not a game, bro. It's not a game. I see a lot of people out here who've done absolutely not just played off with their time and it's like, dog what did you do you don't have nothing to show for it you get what i'm saying so at the end of the day if you're gonna be out here living you have to make sure that you spend your time wisely don't spend it doing foolishness spend it doing the right things yes we're gonna be young yes we're gonna live fast and do a lot of things but make sure you weigh out the odds and make certain things make sense, all right? Now, here's another thing about time, right? There's some people who they try to take away your time from you by, like, controlling you with what they want you to do by living their life through you. You can't let people do that. Have a mind of your own. Seek knowledge. You get what I'm saying? If you aren't aware that by a certain age you reach understanding which is about 12 13 you have sense at that age to know that right is right and wrong is wrong but some people they mix up good for evil and evil for good and that's not so you have to pay attention it's just like if somebody tell you yo let's go do this uh, let's go hit a liquor let's go rob this place or let's finesse this or let's do this something that's not necessary that's not needed that's all negativity right that's bad that's evil you don't know if you're gonna get caught for it you don't know what's gonna be the case for it but at the end of the day you went ahead and did it here's the thing about that paying attention to life and understanding what life is life is very precious bro Spend your time wisely and do the right things in life. You get what I'm saying? Work hard for what it is that you want. So when you work hard, you don't have to worry about any little issues, bro. I'm not perfect. I did some dumb things in my life. But at the end of the day, it's like, try.
try to learn from your mistakes and do better. Now, even though I haven't been reaching for the Bible verses in a minute, this is one that I know I really wanted to, I said it a, a, like a few times in a few videos, but I'm going to state it for you. It's in Hosea 4, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. So here's the thing about that, right? God has been taken out of everything and it's been made to be straight hell and foolishness. Nothing but confusion, right? So when you take law and order and structure out of the world, people are like, we're going to run wild, right? But when you take God's law and certain things that God frowns upon and do certain things, it's going to it's gonna turn the world haywire. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to give you an example, right? Music. Music is, is always going to take the cake. Music nowadays has went has went all the way to straight killing and robbing and I'm in this gang or I'm in that gang. This who I'm claiming, this what I'm in, this what I'm not in. Holding up guns, flashing wads of cash, right? Now, you look at the music that's on today, it's beyond influential and it's the ball has been tipped. Music went from Buster Rhymes and Queen Latifahs and it slowly started turning into something else different. Left from Tribe Called Quest, all of these different type of great artists, right? And it turned into a lot of wild music, drill rapping. You have all of these rappers, I can't even name half of them. It's like every second there's a new rapper that comes out, right? Now, if you pay attention, the agenda that's being pushed is a lot of these rappers are hardcore gangster with it all of that right and they have some form of reputation behind that now a lot of kids coming up in the world want to be rappers right and to tell you the truth not every rapper is making money but at the same time a lot of it is sold dreams to make you feel a certain kind of way so because they're living a certain kind of lifestyle, they travel, they get money for shows, money for streams. They have the women, they have the lifestyle, fast cars, nice house, all of that. A lot of people want to be rappers. It's just like example how the world plays a trick on people and it takes time away from us, right? Look at teachers. Teachers are underpaid for a reason, right? If teachers were paid the hundred thousand, the hundred fifty thousand, and the two hundred thousand, that would definitely cause an imbalance in the agenda of the elites. Tell you why. Kids are looking up to who has what they want, who got the money, who got the cars, who got the lifestyle, who got the who who got everything. You get what I'm saying? Teachers don't have that. If teachers had that kids would pay attention more to teachers but they don't want kids to pay attention to teachers they want them to pay attention to the people that scamming rapping living fast life all of that right and nothing wrong in not judging nobody for the lifestyle that they live but when you leave out of the house and especially if you didn't have certain people around you to guide you and show you certain things the media is gonna be here to help coach you and grow you you get what i'm saying the world america america is babylon for sure in the bible i've said that before and it's 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 official but if you really understand what's going on they're taking away all the knowledge all of the older people and they're just bringing in the newer younger crowd to go ahead and run and take over the show reason why i'm so pressed about all of this is because I'm an undertaker. I've buried has to be more than over set, over over 60 70 kids already. I bury more kids than I do older uh, older older folks. You get what I'm saying? I seen more older people get buried when COVID hit. That's how bad it is. So, 
there's no knowledge and there's no guidance there's no structure for the kids to follow people are doing monkey see monkey do made a video about that and they're following behind the next person and nobody's not leading them to where they want to see they're not getting the results so when they see somebody else that has something that they want they go the wrong route about it and try to take from that person and try to instead of trying to understand and learn and obtain knowledge they do it the wrong way and that ie puts you in a situation where you could be looking at your life your freedom you're robbed of your time you can't get back time you get what i'm saying on top of that when people get arrested and they go to prison they get institutionalized certain certain things that they do to them in there is so inhumane bro so inhumane some people trying to survive trying to make certain things happen for their family but they went about it a certain kind of way now it turns into where when they leave out of these places they come back into the world not really too correct they just been institutionalized and they weren't like you get what i'm saying like taught in certain proper ways okay this is how you go about it there's no care for people so they get robbed of their time and they have a statistic where they show it like okay well chances are they're gonna be back in there like they're animals bro if you're listening to me listen closely bro white black red green blue gray pink bro you're not an animal bro you're not an animal Whenever you hear somebody tell you something and you know for a fact that's not you, that's them. That's projection. You get what I'm saying? So when I hear people talk about, oh, black people, oh my gosh, those niggers, they're animals. Lock them up. Get them out of here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus, they're animals. No, they're not animals. We're not animals. You get what I'm saying? You're not an animal. You get what I'm saying? we have class we have ethics we were groomed a certain kind of way in america to to teach us and make us believe that we're less than when we're actually the greatest you get what i'm saying don't let anybody rob you of your time people play with voodoo and try and rob the next person of their time if you do that to the next person you're gonna pay for that that's definitely law there's a balance in life as i always say forward backward night day good evil guess what if you've been living on a fast trail living life fast running wild everything sweet gravy gravy train everything suavecito everything is cocaine dope you living on a high you're gonna feel the other balance of what it's gonna feel like to not be on that high you have to understand balance that's why you see so many older people like yo i used to have this back in the day i had this 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 that and the third what happened to it you squandered it you get what i'm saying it's just like some of them people in the league who go to the nfl or the nba or whatever they go to right whatever the sport is right but those are mainly some of the most common ones right a lot of those guys squander their money and they don't have nothing to show for it look at the guy who played for the miami heat <coughs> antoine walker antoine walker was highly paid I wouldn't say he was one of them up there, up there paid players, but he had bread. You get what I'm saying? I think, actually, no, I'm tripping. At one point in time, he was getting some crazy, crazy money. You get what I'm saying? When he was with Boston, I think, and then he came to Miami. Won a championship, all of that, right? Squandered his money gambling, bro. I, w I know for a fact he wish he could get that time back. Time is something you can never get back. Don't let anybody rob you of your time or certain habits that can take you under don't let that rob you of your time you get what i'm saying you have potential you're not a loser you're a champion you're all of that stuff the main thing that we have to remember as a people is we need to stop running for the microwave stuff oh i want something instant oh i don't want to learn how to do this i, I want to just get the benefits of it huh the benefits that's not how things go that's not balance it's just like the saying you teach a man um how to fish or he'll he'll know how to uh eat forever you get what i'm saying if you give somebody something they get you they receive something they don't know how you got it you get what i'm saying but if you teach somebody how to get it they'll learn how to get it on their own forevermore and then they can take that and teach the next one that is where it's at but here's a problem within that 
there's some people who learn certain things and they cuff the information to themselves and they don't want to share with anybody I understand certain reasons for certain things but at the end of the day how can we grow as a people you feel me there's little things that we can do that'll help us scale upward that we're not really paying attention to it's just the little things in life you get what I'm saying learning taking care of our time our 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 ourself you feel me learning to get better mentally you get what I'm saying I'm doing certain things that I like I probably would have never thought I'd be doing you get what I'm saying and the thing about it is this bro no matter how much I've been through in my life I have to sit with it and understand this even though I went through a lot in my life I walked out on scholarships in baseball right if you listen to my videos I walked out on scholarships in baseball right was doing the music thing right had deals like like literally like labels emailing us like yo how the hell y'all find us y'all watching us oh we, we wanna look we're looking at you strongly for label placement all of these things coming for me and certain things taken away from me robbed from me understand this you have to learn how to harness your own power as well that's something i was never taught and i never really believed in myself because somebody was robbing me of my time and it took me some time for me to really understand and break free of certain curses and certain spells and understand what's really true don't let anybody rob you of your time bro I could have been a bitter person, but dog, I'm a generally like a cool, happy person, bro. You get what I'm saying? I don't envy or hate nobody. You get what I'm saying? Everybody gonna get theirs. I know I'm gonna get mine. I know I'm gonna make back everything that was stolen from me. Times 10. Because I believe in a higher power. But don't let anybody rob you of your time. Don't let anybody try and take your life and control you and make you feel like you're nothing. You get what I'm saying? You're somebody. You're not a loser. You're a champion. Don't let anybody take your time away from you. Don't let anybody rob you, dog. Stay 10 steps ahead. You feel me? Always make sure that you harness your power and make sure that you pay attention to the people that you, that's around you. Not everybody is around you for, their, for your best benefit. It's just mainly for them or what they want to try and get from out of you. You get what I'm saying? love yourself do a lot of positivity do a lot of good help somebody love yourself love somebody 444 the world man it's your boy damar checking out more working tomorrow more slaving you already know love you guys take care peace